slaves on a warpath this morning. I'm money. I got money. Every morning. No! Ding dong! Ding dong! Money. I really think I could help I this company money. if you just gave me a chance. Just concentrate on being my assistant. Were you always mean? I got big and I got rich. So now who gonna check me, boo? I wish you were my age. Then I'd check you, boo. I wish you were little. I told you, watch it. <gasps> so, I love Homegirl. Oh, Homegirl, I know, right? Homegirl needs to be on Amazon tomorrow. I know. Homegirl is a lot. Homegirl <laughs> says and does it all, right? What would Homegirl say to you in the morning? It's like Regina. Jordan's only friend. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I think that was her only friend, actually, was Homegirl. Yes, like that. it was. <laughs> that was only friend. Um, Homegirl would probably be like, wake up, because I have a tendency to, mine would probably say, don't hit snooze again, because I have a tendency to snooze and snooze. I hit snooze like four times. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, no. your beauty sleep. Well, I actually set it a little earlier than I need to get up, because I know I'm going to hit snooze. Okay. So I have to make up for the snooze time. So you snooze, snooze, and then snooze. Yeah, I snooze, snooze, and then snooze. <laughs> Maybe about at, at least, at least two, but normally three snoozes. Okay, that's fair. So long as you snoozes. get up, I do. That's what matters. I do. So also, you're also one of the bosses. I love that there's so many female bosses. Um, EPing this wonderful film. So is Marseille. So what kind of executive is 14-year-old Marseille? Oh, she was great. Well, Marseille had a lot to do because she was, you know, the star of the film. So, you know, she had already done quite a bit by just coming up with the concept and, you know, saying who she wanted in the movie. And, you know, she her hands were full from the time she was 10 years old. But, um, you know, she worked a lot, so she had a lot to do. And um, I think she talked about, like, the input, um, you know, with um, her look and what she wanted mm -hmm. to say as a character. And she just, she's... She's such a, a wonderful, tremendous young girl. You know what I mean? Like, she's, she's advanced in all the right places. You know what I mean? In all the right places. Like, she's a forward thinker, compassionate, but she's not, like, fast or right. anything. Like, it's in all the right places, and that's what's so like, delightful about her. That's kind of how I feel like most 14-year-old girls are more, like, way crazy and worried about those yeah, kind of things. Yeah, and she's not that at all. Like, not no. pitching films. Oh, yeah, no. She's, like, you know, thinking, oh, I'm gonna, you know, I want to retire by 30. You know what I mean? Right, like she's right. over there making totally different. At 14, I, I wasn't boy crazy, but I don't, I don't think I like boys yet. But I certainly wasn't thinking about. Um, I was in DC. I wasn't thinking. I was. What were you doing at 14? If you weren't thinking about boys, I was like hanging out with my friends and my brothers. You're a good I was, girl. Yeah, I just wasn't. Well, I had a strict mother, so... Oh. Yeah. Okay. My dad was fine, but my mom was... So there wasn't... There was no room to be a bad girl. Like, not in that house. She was like, there is one woman in this house. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. The hierarchy was, was established very young. I get it. My, I have both of that. Speaking of women, and mm -hmm. so Tamron Hall recently said that she wants to have more females on staff. You're one of the EPs also on this film. Mm -hmm. How important is that to have females in the room? Just yeah. Like, period. Yeah, I think it's important. I mean, that, that kind of uh, perspective that is different. I mean, I think, you know, that value that we add, I mean, it's, it's incredible how it broadens, you know, you know, you can have the same conversation, but when you put that perspective in from a woman, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It, it kind of, um, it expands what's already there. And I think the whole di idea of creativity is to broaden what we have and, you know, um, be more inclusive. So I just, I think it's, I think it's the, I mean, you know, people forget this, but, you know, long ago there were matriarchal societies that ran incredibly well. Tell them. Yeah. And so, yeah, I think now that we're, we're, we're getting into a place of balance, you know, whatever there's balance, it's better. And there were a lot of females behind the scenes on this film as oh, well. Oh, absolutely, that I saw absolutely, in the notes. Like, yeah, absolutely. We had our, you know, our, our um, we had Tina directing. We had um, our, our wardrobe. We had uh, certain like uh, our um, script supervisor. We had a lot of a lot of women who came in. And, you know, just really added such valuable, and not just like valuable because it's cute, like needed, right. and that kind of insight. You know, you, you, you can't get exclusively from a male point of view. Yeah. So, from all of your castmates, yes. who would you want to body switch with? Oh, gosh. Because <laughs> you didn't, 
Marseille was the only one. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder, because you're like, you're very cool and chill and calm and like you're low key funny. Mm -hmm. Like I've been following you ever since like out of my face. Like uh, yeah, you're, right. but you're like that, that in real life. That one was broader. Yes, um, you're chill and you have dry sense of humor. So you yeah. have to pick your castmates to do a body switch with. Which oh one my would you pick? gosh, <laughs> I don't. That's a tough. Of anybody I've ever worked with. No, how about just on little? Oh, on little. Who would I body? Tina, oh. Issa, Marseille, or if there's somebody behind the scenes, it's phenomenal. Oh too. well, because I already kind of. Well, if I did Marseille, I'd be a little girl, okay. which would be kind of fun because I could like eat a lot of candy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the metabolism and a, lot, and a lot of French fries. But then it'd be fun to be Issa too, because like I did love the early thirties; those were really fun times. <laughs> so I don't know. I, maybe I'd do half and half. I'd switch with. But then Tina gets to tell everyone what to do. Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'd have a like a. I'd have to have sequels. Okay. I'd be each one in a, each one in a different film. Okay, that's the a good sequel, answer. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much.